Welcome and now, dear friends, to the weekend edition of Fresh Bread. This is Reverend Phil Anderson here, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church and Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church. Hey, we're looking forward to uh, tomorrow, Sunday, for our services. Don't forget, we're going to be looking at the Sermon on the Mount for uh, the next few weeks. Uh, definitely want to encourage you to come. Th- these are going to be, I think, dynamite services. Uh, we don't get to preach on the Sermon on the Mount through the lectionary very often. And this was a great opportunity. You know, the Sermon on the Mount, uh, Matthew 5, 6, and 7, uh, probably some of the most famous of all the sayings of Jesus. And I mean, what a treat to be able to use that at this time. And, and so do come, invite your friends, invite your family members. These are services that I really believe they would enjoy. So we hope to see you at church on Sunday. Don't forget this morning, if you're hearing this early, we are still planning to be at the Pad Restaurant uh, again on 9 o'clock here on Saturday morning, February 4th, 2023. That's this morning. If you hear this early, go ahead and pack up and head on over. And if you get there a few minutes late, we'll be there for about an hour. Don't want to keep people there all day. We're going to be talking uh, informally with each other, and we're also going to have a little meeting of the uh, neighboring movement and our healthy congregations. We would love to have you come and share your ideas, your vision for the churches and how we can reach out to our neighbors, both in Oakland and Kansas Avenue, over in North Topeka. So that's really what it's all about. We hope to see you tonight, or this morning, I should say, over at the pad, again, 9 to 10 a.m. Don't forget, the services tomorrow, again, uh, 9.30 a.m. over here at Oakland, 11 a.m. over here at at North Kansas Avenue, and at the uh, uh, Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church, again, 1029 North Kansas Avenue. If you don't know where Oakland is, uh, that's at 801 Northeast Chester, Oakland United Methodist Church here in the Oakland community. So, uh, wow, a lot going on. Uh, let's look at James 1. We're going to keep going here today. We are, we were just looking at what it said. When we ask God for wisdom, we got to ask believing. Where's our faith? Do we believe we're going to get it? And I would say, yes, let's, let's claim the promises that Christ wants to give us. Let's, let's re- expect it. Let's pray with expectancy. Let's don't pray like, oh, we hope he gives us something. I don't, I doubt he will, you know. I mean, I really don't deserve it. And I, I mean, I just don't think he's really going to even hear my prayer. If we have a prayer like that, we're not going to get it. We have to come to him boldly and authoritatively through Jesus Christ. We pray through the Lord. He's, Jesus is our mediator. He's our bridge to God. We pray in the name of Jesus and we know that God wants to give us a lot of blessings. No matter what other people may say, God wants to bless us. Amen. And he wants to prosper us. People have said, well, you know, about the prosperity gospel. Tell me where the gospel doesn't talk about prosperity. It's all prosperity. Now, we're not talking about material goods necessarily. God wants to prosper you spiritually. He may prosper you materially as well. It's where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. If we put our, our, our heart towards God, he will give us all those other things we want. And don't forget, uh, uh, Psalms uh, says that if we... If we uh, Seek after the Lord. He'll give us the desires of our hearts. So just trust the Lord. I mean, put first things first. That, that's really all it is. And God wants to give us things. He wants to bless us. Amen. That's what he wants to do. So so we have to ask him with expectancy and believing he's going to give that to us. If we don't, we're going to be like that sea that's tossed and blown by the wind. Now it says their loyalty is divided between God and the world, and they are unstable in everything they do. we got to choose who we're going to served. Bob Dylan said the song years ago, you got to serve somebody. It may be the devil or it may be the Lord, but you got to serve somebody. How many of us have really said, you know what? I am now made up my mind once and for all, I'm going to serve Jesus. I mean, I like I was telling you yesterday, I think uh, we we're talking about you might be seven years old or 77. doesn't matter. Are, are you serving Jesus? Have you made that commitment to giving him your life? No, I didn't say, are you going to church? Are you serving the church in of some capacity, like on a board? Are, are you giving uh, finances to the ministry? Are you rolling up your sleeve and handing out food for harvesters? Are you volunteering at the rescue mission? Are you packing up lunches to give to the school kids? All of those are great. But first things first, our heart has to be given to God because it's not about our activities that get us into that relationship. It's about our own ability to realize that we have nothing to give to God. We are a broken, sinful people, and we come to Him asking Him to forgive us and to uh, come into our hearts to, to help us to live a new life through faith in Him. And by His grace, He gives us that ability and you know, gives us things that we just are unimaginably blessed to get, not because that we earned it or deserved it. We can't earn it. We can't deserve it. 
uh, but but he gives it to us because he loves us. That's the grace of God, and he's merciful to us. He he gives us uh, things, and and he also doesn't give us the the punishment that we deserve because Christ took all of our sins upon himself. On that cross, he 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 sucked all of our sins off him like he was a, like a giant vacuum, like a magnet that took all of the metal sins, let's just say, off of ourselves, and just all of them went over to him. And instead, he gave us his righteousness and his holiness. That's how God sees us now. And now we need to see ourselves that way. As we go to God, we don't go to him with our tail between our legs. We go to him expecting him to want to bless us because we are his children. And he knows exactly what we need. So we go to God now as children of his, as his followers, as his uh, disciples. And we know that he wants the very best for us. Amen. So so don't hesitate to ask God for wisdom. Amen. Tell him, I need wisdom, Lord. I need wisdom not only in this particular situation, but I need wisdom throughout all my life. And I believe he will give you that wisdom. Well, I pray now that God will bless you the rest of this day, that we will see you tomorrow at church. May uh, you have a wonderful rest of the day here on Saturday, and we'll talk to you tomorrow at church. Until then, God bless you, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.